Hey, it's Ian from Las Vegas Scooters and Lips again. Today I've got a little project diagnosis to do on a Pride Dart. Here she is in all her glory, an early bird, 2003 Pride Dart. It looks very similar to the Sonic, which was the second release after this one. I've had many scooters, but yeah, this one's uh, came in, the lady came in, bought new batteries, and uh, then came back again saying that uh, the scooter won't move. It's, uh, even though the battery gauge shows good, but I'll get into that. But uh, it just won't move. So I'm going to put some batteries in it again and uh, just go through and see if I can diagnose what the problem is. Okay, I've taken the seat off just so I've got a bit better access to this, uh, the floor shroud of this uh, dart. And I've put two batteries in it just to test it, plug them in. Not the best design, I hate these cloth packs, they're kind of awkward. As you can see, the, the ladies put some duct tape on there, another duct tape special. And a little flap there for to cover the charge port, or the actual power to the charge port. Now, I've worked on many Sonics, I've never worked on a Dart, so I'm guessing that the controller is in the back. I may be wrong, it may be here, but uh, I'm not too sure. I'll find out. But uh, what's happening is, so on your top console, you have a status light, which would give you your indication of any problems, and also show you a steady light when it's uh, running correctly. There's your power gauge. So when I press the key in, this is the old plunger type key, you know, like. Uh, photo jack you push that in and we show full power there we go so we've got full power to the console we get a horn no status light so either that has blown or there's a, a fault somewhere else but if that works then it could be a controller fault that's just uh, so when you press forward there's nothing, there's not even a click from the controller. Usually is like a relay click from the controller. So without that indicator light there telling me what the problem is, I'm kind of having to guess what, uh, what might be wrong with the scooter. I've got a good idea what it could be. But, uh, let's see if I can get it to actually do anything. So what I'm gonna have to do is try and uh, find where the controller is. There's nothing, I've tested the fuse, the fuse is fine, the reset's obviously fine because you've got power at the, at the gauge. But, uh, I've got to, what I'll do is take the batteries out, separate the front and the rear, and uh, see if I can locate where the controller is. Okay, so before I actually strip this off, I've actually taken the rubber, f rubber sort of, uh, side steps off to get to the screws so I can uh, take this shroud off but before I do that I've taken the top console apart just to see if there's anything going on in there so because these screws are missing when you ever take the top console apart you only need to undo these four screws two at the front two at the back you don't need to undo these middle two because that just holds this bottom portion of the console to the actual f handlebars so if you're ever going to change anything of the top console you don't need to undo those two middle screws just the front two and the back two save you a lot of hassle so uh, if this thing does ever work I'll replace those screws but at the moment I won't so uh, I've looked at the fuse but just about to see a if the fuse is okay. I've also tested this and what I would do 
you just basically set my multimeter to volts and then put the the two um, testers in there, one in there and one in there and see if I get any voltage. Now, it is actually giving me a reading there. That, that flickering, I know I'm not holding it correctly, but I might set something up just so I can see if we can actually get a reading. I'm getting zero volts again. Let me just see if I can get this right. So I've um, removed the little circuit board from the top console. And uh, I'm just looking over this, there, just there, is where the status light is attached. Now you can see, it's uh, the sol solder's dried up and broken away. I'm not sure if that's going to fix it, but it's not going to be uh, helpful it being unsoldered. Soldered. Yeah, let me solder that. Let me solder that for the Americans and uh, see if I can get that light working. Okay, so I'll put a bit of flux on those uh, two joints there. There we go, right. And just uh, reheated up that solder. And that looks better now. Nice and stable. Let's see if that was the problem. Doubt it. So I'll get that put back in the top console. Okay, so I've replugged everything back in. It's luckily everything's marked on the circuit board for you. So it's uh, you can see there you've got voltmeter, light switch, which is actually your error light, and then key and horn and then there's the horn switch one right at the bottom just there and then your main harness wire goes in there so let's see if that's cured the uh, error problem which it has one two three four five five two three four five so now i can actually see what the errors are so if you don't get any error light or air horn noises on your scooter, find that out first. Find out why you're not getting any error lights or audible beep from the horn. Maybe the horn's damaged on the newer, um, I'll try and show you on the newer controllers, on Prides and some Goldens, they actually have a horn just down there on the footboard where the controller is it uh, gives you that audible beep it's separate from the horn for your horn button on the scooter so these can sometimes get moisture in and get damaged with dirt and so you won't hear that audible beep so investigate that first it's actually just a plug-in at the back there a white plug-in just there so you can quickly change that out see if that is why you're not getting any audible sounds but with this one it's a, a light on the older fashioned scooters it's a flashing light and this is giving me a five beep code which it would do always goes for the quick error because the back end's not there so of course there's no brake so I'll have to put the uh, the back end back on the scooter just to see what the error actually is so give me a second the thing with this scooter is you don't have to reassemble the whole scooter you can just plug the wire in through there there's enough wire sticking out for me not to get my fingers trapped in this god awful design of the uh, detachable back end which is absolutely terrible to do you end up trapping your fingers but anyway let's uh, reset the scooter so i've just pulled the key out and now it should give me the proper flash code Okay, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
So nine is controller fault. So we know for a fact it's the controller that's gone out, this scooter. So I've saved myself a lot of time stripping this down to try and find the controller. Now I know what the, the scooter's actually doing with that flash code. Before I didn't, I was guessing. So now I, I exactly know that it's a controller fault. So the only way to cure that is to replace the controller. So I'm still going to strip it down and get into the controller, see what kind of controller it is, and find out how much a replacement would be for the customer. She's, she's not going to replace it. I know that for a fact. So, but just out of curiosity for a video, I'm going to go into it a bit deeper and see what the actual cost would actually be. Just on a side note, when the customer brought this scooter in, um, I did pre-diagnose it while she was here, and uh, obviously without that flash code error that I, I now see, that was prior to this, so um, I did actually say to her that it's more than likely going to be your controller, because there's so many telltale signs I can tell with the scooter that... Um, that leads me to that conclusion that it's going to be a controller issue. There's only so many things it could be, you know, a throttle problem or not so much speed dial, but that could be a problem with throttle. Then moving from that, you're looking at controller. There's nothing else it could be because normally you hear an audible uh, relay click on these controllers to tell you that it sends a signal to the uh, scooter motor to move, but there was none of that. So that tells me it's got to be a controller. So I did tell the lady that, and she just didn't want to do anything with it. So, yeah, let's uh, dig into it and see what I can do. Okay, so one, two, three screws that side. One, two, three screws this side, covered up by the rubber before mat, floor mat. And also this front cowl here that covers that wire up to either side, easy to do, remove that, uh, oh there it is, your, uh, your controller, that there is your charger, which is all wide up there, and this is your controller, S drive controller, made in England, no wonder it failed, anyway, D50404 version 2. So that would be the controller you're looking for. Can't be anything else. You're getting power to the co top console, giving you a 9 flash coat. So that's controller. My first thoughts are that the capacitors inside have blown and they've caused it to give an error. So unless you can find a replacement controller with those uh, same model numbers, program numbers, that uh, I don't think you'd be able to find anything. Okay, I'm looking online, seeing what's available for the general public to uh, buy. Of course, this is a US site, so uh, these are all the parts you can get for your little dart, which is uh, a little picture there. Sorry if the screen's flickering, I can't do much about that. That's just what the uh, video camera's picking up. But Batteries, of course, replacement charger, replacement charger, replacement charger. Power cord for $8. Jeez. Basic stuff. Most of the other stuff is all discontinued. So it's not looking good for any replacement parts if you wanted to do it yourself as, uh, without having to go through a dealer or something like that. I'm going to see if uh, our portal is uh, it's not working at the moment but this is our uh, dealer portal for for pride mobility and uh, basically you're going to obsolete models but it's coming up with seat cushions heat massage which is all to do with lift chairs nothing to do with scooters so um Rebo took one out i don't even know why that's in there but uh, yeah the the discontinued models once they're obsolete and they've gone you're pretty much out of luck there's no bringing it back unless you can find a used one somewhere that somebody's selling like ebay or whatever 
So unless we can find a used controller on uh, on Flea Bay, which is going to be nigh on impossible, I think. Uh, let's try Pride Dog. sorts of dog boards or something. Okay. Yeah. It's not a pride dog. It's not pride dog. Nothing, 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 nothing. Dodge dog. That's the problem. You get all sorts of things come up here. Yeah, so no controllers available. I can't tell with pride at the minute because their system's down and not working properly. still coming up with seat cushions and blah 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 so anyway so that's our project ended unless i've got a controller that's going to work for it which i can have a hunt through my stuff okay with a bit more tinkering time i've uh, put a different controller in this and we have a solid status light full power Rusty horn, speed dial, no errors, and let's just zoom out. We have a self propelling scooter. I don't think the brake's very good though, but it works. So it was what I said controller. I think I'll put in here a, uh, let me just take it apart and see which controller it is. I believe it's a Travel Pro controller. It's a newer S-Drive. There it is. The number is 512706. So yeah, that's a uh, Travel Pro. But it works. So, which is what I said. Controller. Would it be worth putting back together? Definitely not. It's, uh, I think it's beyond its, its good use. So, there's no resale value in it. Oh well, so that's the end of that story for this one. I hope you've uh, found it interesting, how I sort of go about diagnosing these things. And I hope it helps somebody somewhere out there that comes across the same problem and may have an older scooter, they may need it, and they don't know how to diagnose it. I hope this video helps you out in some way. So yeah, it was uh, just the first off with the status light not working, find that problem. Then it gave me the report that uh, the error code that the controller was no good. So my first assumptions were right. So I changed the controller, proved that it works, it does drive. But I'm not going to do anything with it. There's no resale value on this kind of thing. With it being this old, it will probably cause more problems going along the line. You know, with the with its age, 2003, 19 years old. But there are some sellable parts on it. I'm not going to put $100 worth of batteries, three to $400 worth of controller in it. It's just not, not going to happen. Even though I have got that controller, I use that for testing other scooters that, are, that have problems. So it's just going to be parts at the end of the day. So, But if you need any parts for a Dart, here it is. It's, uh, it's here mostly. Um, I don't think the seat may be any good to anybody because it's a bit crusty from being in the late Las Vegas sun. But, uh, yeah, I've got, obviously, a, a Pride Dart top console wiring, all that works. I'll check this to make sure the charger works. So I'll just plug that in with the battery pack, see if it lights up. But, uh, yeah, it's there if anybody wants it. So, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative. I enjoy doing this sort of thing. Obviously, I wouldn't be in business doing it. But, uh, yeah, so if you do need anything off of the scooter or any other scooters, just drop us an email at uh, sales at lostvegaslifts.com or sales at lostvegasscootersandlifts.com and we'll answer and see if we can help you out in any way. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye now.